Welcome back to WeboTep Academy. My name is Mr. Pavan Bhuya, and today we'll be designing an admin panel using Bootstrap. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, at first, I'll be uh, opening my Jam server. So I have opened my Jam server, and for developing the website, I'll be using Jam as my local server and Sublime as the IDE or the editor. So if you do not have these two softwares, I recommend you to download both the softwares and install it on your laptop or desktop. So this is the first software which we will be using. It's called Jam. And the second software which you have to install is called Sublime, which is a very lightweight editor. All right. So you can install both the softwares on your computer. So I have already installed both the softwares. I have opened my Jam server here. And now I will click on many servers and start all. All right. Now we'll go back to welcome panel. And here I will create an open application folder. I will go to htdocs. And here I'll be creating one new folder. And the name of the folder will be Flutter PHP. L U T T E R P H P. Okay, so this is the folder. At first, I will give the read and write permission to this folder so that my computer can read and write in all the in the parent directory as well as the subfolders. All right. Okay. So if you are a Windows user, you don't have to do this step. But if you are on Mac, I recommend you to give the read and write permission so that we can uh, do all the changes in this uh, folder from our IDE. So this is the folder which I have just created. And now I will open my Sublime text. So this is Sublime text. And I will drag this folder and drop it in the Sublime. Okay. Now, I will right click here and click on new file. I will be saving this file now as index.php. Uh, let's save it as index.html. At first, let us create the uh, HTML version of this admin panel. So, this is the admin panel which we are creating for the Flutter app. I will be using Bootstrap for designing purpose. And let's go to Bootstrap now get bootstrap.com you can also click on docs here are all the information which we have to uh, read in order to use bootstrap but i have already seen this information so i am directly jumping into this point point number two include bootstrap css and js file so what we have to do here is to include these two files the first file is the css file of bootstrap and we'll be using several classes of this CSS file into our admin panel. And then we have to use this JavaScript file in our website. So I will copy this entire uh, uh, code to, uh, to the clipboard. And let's go back to the IDE, Control V or Command V. And then I will be clicking on Command S. Now let's open one new tab, localhost slash flutter dash php and this is the folder which we have created just now so this is the folder and while opening this folder in the browser we can see this message of hello world and this message and this hello world is written in the body section so if you have prior knowledge of html or css then you, I think you have already understood what is written in this portion. So I will not be discussing in detail about HTML or CSS, but you should have some prior knowledge uh, regarding the head section of HTML or the body section of HTML and what is uh, CSS or JavaScript. You should have a little bit knowledge about these languages. And don't worry, if you are completely new in this field and do not have any idea regarding 
what HTML or CSS is or what JavaScript is, then you can simply enroll in one of our paid courses of full stack development where we teach our student how to develop a web application right from the very scratch. So in this project, this is the head section and I will collapse this head section and produce some gap between the head and the body so that we can easily identify which is the head and which is the body parties. Then this is the script, uh, which is a JavaScript. And we have to uh, include this JavaScript in order to use all the functionalities of Bootstrap. So now let's go back to Bootstrap here. And I will use one container widget. Okay? So here I'll be writing a div div class equal to container and I'll be closing this div. So here I'll be creating one more div with the class row. And inside row we can create columns div class equal to call md4. Okay. So let me show you how these columns work. Here I'll be writing first column or the left column middle uh, middle column or the centered column middle column and this will be the right column okay let's go back to our application left column middle column and right column and this is the row and this is the container so let me use some CSS values here. CSS background color equal to, uh, let me use snow, background color equal to snow. Okay, here you can see some a light background color over here. Now I'll be giving one more color to this row, style equal to background color equal to red. Let me check now. So the entire container, okay, the entire container is overwritten by these style properties which we have written in the class of row. Okay. So now if I write some more styles in the columns, background color equal to, for example, blue. Similarly, here background color equal to yellow. And here, background color, style, background color equal to pink. Now, let me reload the window. And now the columns has overwritten the entire row. So the left column is, the background color of the left uh, column is now blue. The background color of the middle column is now yellow. And the background color of the right column is now pink. Similarly, if we write a new row, now div class equal to row and if we write some more containers more columns with the same uh, same width call md4 uh, like uh, this is the second left this is the second middle and this is the second right let me save this now so now the bootstrap is working in this way so instead of writing call md4 we can use up to 12 values let me show this let me create a new div call row and now here div class call md instead of writing 4 now i'll be writing 12 this is full width row sorry full width column okay and let me use some background color over here style equal to background color equal to red so this is full width if we use 12 as the value of the column the column will take full width of the row instead of 12 now if i use 6 over here and background color blue and background color orange the second one 
so this is if we use 6 as the big 6 as the value of the column then the 50 percent of the row will be occupied by this section similarly if we use 4 33.33 percent if we use 3 then 25 percent each div class equal to 3 call md3 25 percent now 25 percent we can also use the uh, call md2 call md1 but the total value of one row or the total value of all the columns inside one row will be 12. if the value of the columns is more than 12 then it will break to the second line or the next line okay so let me check this document in mobile okay now all the columns are aligned vertically and now i can just scroll the mobile i don't have to zoom it i don't have to uh, take it from right to left or right left to right and i i just have to scroll the window from top to bottom so this is a rough idea how bootstrap works so now we'll be using these properties to build our first page of the admin panel so let's meet in the next lecture and don't forget to subscribe to this channel